Hello, hello, American Crochet Association. Selena Baca here, founder, host, lead educator with the ACA. I have not done this in a while, but it's Tuesday and I've got a brand new tip for you guys. So if you are watching live, come on over, say hey, say hello, tell me where you're viewing from. If you guys have any questions, comments, feedback on this topic today, go ahead and leave your comment because whether you're here live or on the replay, as soon as I see it, I will get right back to you, all right? Okay, so today's tip, um, I'm gonna break down something that's a little complex and hopefully the way that I break it down today in this video will really help. Now, what sparked this are the, the symbol repeats that we see in crochet patterns. So anytime you see a crochet pattern, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on, let me leave that here. Anytime you're looking at a crochet pattern and you're looking at the instructions and it has an asterisk and a bracket and a parentheses and you feel stuck because you feel like you're reading the crochet instructions and whatever you're doing is not matching the end stitch count. So that can be really frustrating, especially when you're looking at something um, that seems fairly simple. Maybe you're looking at a granny square, some kind of motif, and you're like, "What? I, I feel like I can see this and this should not be very hard. Why are these instructions so difficult? So I'm here to break down the order of operations for each one of these, these repeat symbols, but then also how to read them. And that way you can look at the instructions, break them down and follow them with greater ease, okay? Now I'm putting together some information that you can use to kind of test out these skills. I do have those links in the video description and that way you guys can test this out on your own, all right? So what I'm using as an example is a pattern that I am dropping today. It is an oldie but a goodie in the Selena Baca crochet world. Um, it is called the sundial motif. You use this motif to make a blanket. Um, and I am posting it for free on the American Crochet Association website. So if you guys wanna view those instructions for free, all you gotta do is click down below. Now, this pattern is a square. It's a motif. It's worked in joined rounds and those circ and, and it starts as a circle and then it transitions into a square. Now, in order to make those shapes happen, in order to configure those stitches, I need to use all the stitch repeat symbols. So this pattern absolutely uses the asterisk, the parentheses, and the brackets. So hopefully what I'm telling you here today will help you to read and understand this pattern or any pattern that uses these, these repeats, okay? So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit because hopefully the way I'm presenting this will help to make sense to you, okay? So I'm absolutely using a line of instructions as an example from that sundial motif, okay? Um, where it is and, and all of that doesn't really matter because the tip that I'm going to, to help you with, the tip that I'm going to show you should help you to read uh, these symbols anytime you see them, okay? Now let's start with the most complicated and move from there. So the most complicated is probably going to be um, where you see, again, all three of these used together. It's a long line of instructions and this isn't even all the instructions in that line. So maybe let's, for example, this is round 10 in the pattern, okay? So you've gotten to round 10, instructions, 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 and then you see asterisk, bracket, parentheses, all this stuff and, and um, asterisk again. So, what I think you need to do to really fully understand this is to break out each one of those pieces of instructions into its own separate line. This is the way my brain works. This is the way I see it. But I've seen lots of amazing tips like, you know, maybe print your pattern and, you know, put it in a plastic sleeve and then just cross it out as you go or check it off as you go. Whatever makes sense to you, absolutely do it. This makes sense to me, so that's why I'm posting it this way. So all I've done is taken this line of instructions from asterisk to asterisk, I, and I pasted it down here, and any time there was a comma, I put it in a new line. Because to me, as a pattern reader and a pattern writer, a comma means just do that. So when I see asterisk bracket skip two stitches, comma, okay, well, I know that there is there are two repeats that are about to start and the beginning of it says skip two stitches, comma. So that's all I need to do. So I'm gonna look at my pattern work and go, okay, from the last stitch that I created, I'm gonna skip two stitches. 
What's the next thing I'm going to do? The next thing says parentheses. Parentheses are three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet into same stitch. Okay, so when I say comma, I mean comma is like end instruction, not, not as a separation. I mean, a comma is a separation, but not in this sense right here. So hopefully that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I skip two stitches, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet into the same stitch. Did I do that? Great. I'm going to move on. Now I see skip two stitches, comma, single crochet, end parentheses, and then it says two times. So what that tells me is I'm going to complete this bit of instruction, skip two stitches, comma, single crochet, okay, end bracket. I'm going to complete everything from this bracket to this bracket two times. So I just did it one time, go back, double check that I did it, then go back up to where that parentheses started and do all that again. So when you have those instructions two times, you can move on. Next piece of instruction, skip two stitches, skip two stitches, move on. Three triple crochet, chain one, three double cro triple crochet into same stitch. Did I do that? Great. Now I'm going to move on. Skip two stitches, single crochet, asterisk. Okay. So those are all the instructions in the asterisk and the brackets and the parentheses. So as soon as I follow all of that and I see that parent, I see that asterisk, my next bit of instructions say repeat from asterisk to asterisk three times. Okay, so that means that after I get to this part and I complete all of that information right there, I'm gonna go back up to this asterisk and I'm gonna follow that again until I have three representations of all of this. And that's how it works, okay? So that's the most complex. And if you're looking at, well, what do each one of these individual symbols mean? Hopefully this little cheat sheet is gonna help to make a difference, okay? So in alphabetical order, we've got asterisk, bracket, parentheses. Asterisk is typically going to be shown over a broader piece of instruction, maybe that's not an exact replicate, you know, it's not really a, an easy, simple repeat. It's something that's kind of skewed. And what I mean by that is usually, you know, we want repeats to be something that just makes sense. Three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet into one stitch, skip two stitches, single crochet. Okay, that makes sense. I'm just going to do that all the way across. Asterisk means you're taking all these different pieces into one piece of instruction and that's what you're going to repeat over and over again. So an asterisk is telling you that you're gonna repeat an, an entire section of instructions and it may include uh, parentheses and brackets. So it doesn't mean ignore those, it means that it's probably going to include those. A bracket is gonna indicate when instructions should be worked a certain number of times. So this is where it's different than the parentheses because a bracket is going to be over maybe a longer piece of instruction. Um, so, you know, asterisk, chain two, single crochet, next space between three double crochet groups, repeat from asterisk to next chain three space. There's a lot of stuff in there, right? Uh, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet into chain three space, bracket to bracket, do that twice. See, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Now, parentheses is sometimes confused with bracket, but parentheses has a very specific role in crochet patterns. Whenever you see parentheses, really this is just going to, in terms of stitch rep repetition, it only indicates when stitches are worked together, either into one stitch or one space. And that's why we see things like parentheses, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, into one chain three space, into next double crochet. It's telling you to work all of that stuff into one stitch or one space. So now that you've got a handy dandy stitch repeat. And now that you've got a tip in terms of how to follow these stitch symbols, stitch repeat symbols, uh, hopefully they make a little bit more sense, especially as you're following a pattern that uses all three of those symbols together. All right. So I haven't given this talk in a really long time and that's, I kind of feel like I fumbled through just a little bit. So I'm going to pause and see who's here. And I'd love to just have an over, open conversation on this topic. Topic. So questions, comments, feedback, anything, please let me know and let's have a conversation. Chris Lopez, my friend, so good to see you. Hello, thanks for being here. Lady Crafter, my unofficial moderator, how are you doing? So good to see you. Uh, hello, Elise from Central New Jersey, so good to see you. Chris Lopez, someone posted yesterday in a group I'm in, what's up with this new trend of crochet charts? Where have they been? 
new trend. Oh my gosh, crochet charts have been around for as long as I can remember. I don't have the history and on on the crochet charts, but um, I personally didn't use crochet charts for a really long time because they're hard to make. They need certain software and especially whenever you're working, you know, diagrams and joined rounds, they're really hard to make. So I only recently found a friend who was really good at putting them together and she's been making charts for me. So shout out to her. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love that we have charts in the crochet world. Hello, VJ. So good to see you. Thank you for being here. Oh, you guys are all friends in the comments. I love it. Uh, hey, A. Cody. A. Cody Cowgirl creates. Oh my gosh, that is the longest. Hey, hey Cody Cowgirl creates. <laughs> That's a long name. Always helpful to have a review in reading crochet patterns. Not everyone writes patterns as clearly as you. Well, thank you. And I appreciate that. And I feel like I have a particular style um, that what I try to do is match universal standards as closely as possible. I really try to understand what universal standards are in the crochet world. And then not only do I try to understand them, but I want to apply them. Um, you know, really, whenever we're writing crochet patterns, um, your ingenuity, your creativity should be in what you create. You don't have to reinvent the wheel whenever it comes to writing crochet patterns because there are really good guidelines and standards that are in place for us. So we can just take that template. We can just take those, uh, take that uniformity and then our creativity can come through in the things that we make. So yeah. Oh, VJ says, yeah, that's how I read it. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I don't think that it's intuitive for, for a lot of people. And so that's why I felt it was so important to put this together. And um, there are even people, you know, as a pattern writer, I have hundreds of published patterns and probably about once every three months, I have someone that, that reaches out to me and says, hey, I've been crocheting for a hundred years. Uh, there must be something wrong with your pattern because I don't understand what this means. And it is typically a pattern that uses asterisk bracket and parentheses, and they're, they're unsure of how to follow that with success. So they're unsure of what those repeats mean. Why does this say two times here? You know, why does this say three times here? How do I follow this? So again, understanding that order of operations, what to repeat and when, that will really help you to accomplish more in crochet. Chris Lopez, I know there are lots of visual learners, but in my opinion, pattern reading skills are essential. Yeah, I absolutely agree, but I am and not but I didn't mean that I absolutely agree with you um, I will also say I am one of those visual learners sometimes I need to see the instructions I need to watch a video I need to see a chart and then I need to actually like read it out loud and then do it so it is really difficult for me to follow instructions sometimes like I really need lots of different indicators so I'm absolutely the type of person who sometimes I need to see the thing and I need to chart and I need to watch you do it and then I need to read the instructions out loud. Sometimes I need all of those those um, indicators. So I'm absolutely one of those. But I agree with you, Chris Lopez. I think that it is healthy to not just rely on any one of those things. You know, don't just put yourself in a box and say, I only watch video tutorials. I only read charts. It is a really healthy um, addition to your crochet to your crochet abilities to be able to read written instructions to be able to decipher charts you know and then you know when you need follow a video tutorial or something like that I think it's important to have all of those Elise this is so helpful because crochet instructions seem to have gotten harder to read it's that's that's interesting I don't know if it's just you know times are a change in um, I think that, you know, anyone can write a crochet pattern, which is fantastic. I love that. I love that, you know, we're, we're getting so much in the crochet world from so many different people who can contribute to it. Unfortunately, I feel that lots of different entities, whether it be a magazine or a publisher or an individual pattern writer, um, you know, there's a lot of, I'm going to do this in my own way. And I think that, again, that puts people into a box to where maybe they do create a community of people who know, like, and trust the way they write patterns. And so they'll only follow them. And it's difficult for them to, to venture out in the crochet world. And I think that that's a little unfortunate. I don't ever want to write patterns that create a cult following of people who can only read and follow my patterns. I would love to... Um, 
I would love it if more individuals understood that there are universal standards and guidelines and then and then adopted those in ways that not only make them better writers, but really opens their work to a global audience. I'm on a soapbox now, sorry. Elise, I'm a visual learner, so written patterns are a struggle. I agree, Chris Lopez. Yep, we need lots, or me, I need lots of different indicators. Sometimes I need all of them too. Yep, I definitely do. VJ, I used to do the instructions, then I would have done it twice more. Um, the most helpful tip I got was it didn't say more. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and I think that it's little, it's little things like that that can make it confusing. Like, you know, for example, it's, it's hard to know when to read into things, right? So for example, let's take here, let me move your face. Sorry. You know, let's take this piece of instruction right here where I said, you know, follow from the bracket two times, right? So does it mean I just did it and now I do it two times more for a total of three? Don't read into it. If it says two times, that means total. So whatever you're doing in this piece of instructions right here, you're going to do it once and then you need to have it represented a total of two times. So hopefully it's so hopefully patterns um, specify what they mean. So for example, if this should be two times, maybe it can be written do this two times or do maybe you do this and I don't really agree with this writing but you may see something like do that but then it'll say something like repeat once more. Well, what does repeat once more mean? It means two times because you just did it once. So hopefully you don't really have to look into um, deciphering crochet speak too much. You know, hopefully the verbiage will just make it a little more clear. And then just hopefully you should be able to just take these things at face value. Chris Lopez, I think they are harder because anyone can write a crochet pattern and aren't using universal standards. Yeah, sometimes, um, you know, sometimes I've even seen crochet patterns where every single thing is written out. And so it's like, well, I understood exactly what you meant, but really this could have been two lines of instructions, but you've made it 10. So it's not that it's hard for me to understand what you're saying, but maybe there could be a better way to simplify and uh, maybe there could be more acronyms used, maybe there could be repeats used to where I don't have to read 10 lines of instructions to, to complete this, this line of instruction. Maybe it could have been simplified in just two lines. So I don't fault anyone for trying to share their creativity with the world at all. I, I love that and I love that in the crochet world. Um, so really, whenever I share things like that, hopefully it's just something that will really make a positive difference, not only in the lives of people who write crochet patterns, but also in the lives of people who read crochet patterns. So that's my intent. All right, that's all I got today. Um, I may do this, I may do a tighter version of this. Um, I kind of feel like I was a little all over the place. I haven't taught this topic in a while, but it was something I wanted to share. So hopefully this little video here will just help spark some broader conversations and then maybe I can fine tune this chat into something that's really, you know, easier to digest. If you guys found this tip helpful, let me know in the comments. Maybe share this video in one place where you enjoy crochet. If you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, just let me know. As soon as I see your comment, I'll get right back to you. Again, all of the resources that I'm showing you guys today, all of the resources that I talked about, the patterns, and this article about how to read crochet patterns that include asterisks, brackets, and parentheses, those are all gonna be in the video description, all right? Peace, love, crochet, everybody. Thanks for being part of the ACA. See you next time.